So this will just be a quick little video uh, demonstrating a kind of a crazy idea I had in the middle of the night. I don't know if it's been done before. It probably has. Almost everything has. But anyways, I was thinking um, of changing up stamping. Um, I love stamping. Uh, the only problem with it is it always looks the same. So I started thinking, well, why don't I embellish my stamps? Um, so I t brought out my Makin's Clay and uh, did this uh, little dog. This is a Tim Holtz stamp, uh, the one called Mini Cats and Dogs, and they're just adorable little cats and dogs. So anyways, I chose one of them and uh, stamped into my clay, and then I added extra clay to it to embellish it. So I added the ears, I added a nose, I added the tongue, uh, I just put a little uh, bone in there, and um, I colored it with uh, artsy uh, paste. So this um, this paste, I wish you could smell it. It smells, uh, it's very citrusy. It's a really nice scent, <laughs> which is really nice for a change. Um, it, they sell it at Michael's, and I bought um, mine also at Shades of Clay in Canada. So uh, it's available, and uh, I really love it. It uh, goes on smooth as silk. Uh, bakes just fine. Um, seems to be quite uh, quite strong after baking. Uh, probably needs to be sealed. This one hasn't been sealed yet, but uh, uh, you know you'd you'd do that anyways. So um, uh, quite nice stuff. Um, so then I I played around with some other things. So this one is I just embellished myself. And then I thought, well, okay, let's let's just play with the stamp itself. So I've got these Inka Dinka Doo stamps. This is the one, uh, I think it's called On the Beach. And it's a great turtle stamp and uh, kind of a ammonite or nautilus kind of uh, shape that I really liked. So I played around with them. So this is the, uh, the nautilus. And um, stamped it and then stamped... Uh, on another section and cut it out and added it to it uh, to make it more three-dimensional and I call this 3D stamping. Uh, here's the turtle. So, um, you know, stamped the image, did the uh, artsy uh, paste on it and stamped a new image and um, embellished it whatever way you want and, and then bake it. So we'll do one of them. I don't think it's necessary to do more than one. Uh, to demonstrate. So I'm going to give my uh, stamp a little spritz of water. You could uh, spritz your clay as well. And just find a spot. And try to put even pressure on. You want a fairly good image on here. I'm trying not to get too much uh, of the outside edge. So that's not a bad image. And then I'll just dry it off a bit. And then I'll put the, uh, let's dry that a bit better. I'll put some of this artsy paste on. Just make sure there's no lumps on my fingers. And you can layer these colors. Uh, you can put ink of gold over top of them. Um, it, it's all compatible. So that's good coverage. So I'm going to cut a little bit of clay here. And I'll stamp that again. Uh, that's still wet enough. I'm 
So this stamp now I don't have to be quite as careful. I just I still want a good impression, but if I catch the edges of the stamp, it's not a problem. So this one I'm going to cut out. And these are all both done on the thickest setting of my uh, pasta machine. So I'm cutting out the shell. And I'll reserve that because I might go for the head afterwards. So I'll just do even this shell out a little bit. And I'm just going to round it down a little bit on the edges. And you can use your fingers with that, or you can use a tool. I'll use one of these templates from uh, Tiny Pandora to kind of round that off. So I'm hoping that's going to end up looking like a cabochon on top. section that should come off here. There we go. Get that off of there. Now before we put it on, I'm just going to make sure that's all nice and smooth. And uh, then I'm going to color it. So I'm going to choose a little Inca Gold. This is the, uh, um, I guess it's written on this side, green yellow. This would show up better probably on black, but um, black in the camera that doesn't get along, so. And I'll do the sides too. So not, not all stamps are going to work out really well with this technique, but quite a few of them will. And um, I, I mean, you can add anything. If you had a floral stamp, you could do um, uh, that um, embroidery technique where you're using little rice-shaped rice, uh, pieces of, of clay and, and make your own little flowers and, and little vines and stuff like that. And so you'd have your stamped image underneath and you'd have this three-dimensional image on top. It's um, quite fun. So I'm going to use a little blue. And I'll do that with a small brush. And just do the center section. So that was uh, cobalt blue. So um, the one thing I like about the Artsy, uh, like if I chose it to do this with uh, pastels or something like that, then you're going to have a problem with adherence. Um, with this, there's no problem making one layer stick to another layer. So I'll just kind of smoosh it in place. And uh, I'll use, I'll get a little tiny rice-shaped piece for the... Uh, 
for the tail. color on there too. We may as well cut out the head too. And for that I'll just kind of round it out, not following the stamp too closely. And again get some color on it. Before you put it on there put the color on and then you won't be smearing up the rest of the, uh, of the piece. So then you might want to use a small tool, uh, this thing here, nope, where is it, hang on, <laughs> like a little color shaper they're called, these little um, silicone shapers, and uh, you can go ahead and press in some details into there. Then I'll use a cookie cutter and cut around. Okay, that's not too bad. And then that can just be mixed straight back into the clay. That won't affect the clay at all. So then I'm going to want to clean this up a little bit and put some color on the edges and like that. Uh, on this other one I put some blue around the edges. So just keep rubbing over it and it'll soften what you've done. If you can't get it soft enough, go back with your original artsy color and uh, add some more silver. I love these Inka Dinka Doo uh, stamps. They're so pretty. And they can be added uh, before baking, they can be added after baking. Um, in any case, you're going to want to seal it with um, a, a good, uh, like a polyurethane or your favorite sealer. You could use uh, Preserve Your Memories spray, uh, whatever works best for you. Okay, so that's 
that's that. I haven't done the side yet, but we won't won't uh, bore you with all that. I'm going to add a little crystal to that. I've got these. Um, um, I bought these at Michael's. So I make my own little picker-upper thing just by getting a little bit of clay on the edge of my tool and then I can pick up that crystal and place it where I want. So maybe this one will put them up high. And that's that. So after it's baked, so I'll move that one aside. After it's baked, you can play with it further. Um, <laughs> I always kind of like playing with these things even more. Uh, you can antique it. Um, you know, what, whatever you choose that you want to do. So let's antique this one just for something to do. So I've got a brush, a little bit of black craft paint here. Before you antique, you should, um, um, like after it's been baked, you want to let make sure that it's cooled off completely before you antique it. Uh, if you <laughs> antique hot clay, the paint just uh, it just st sticks to it too well, and it won't come off when you try to brush it off, so or wipe it off rather. So let it cool down completely, and then you're good to go. So then when I antique, I always like to use a paper towel first and take most of it off with the paper towel. And then if I have to, I'll go with a, a wet baby wipe just to get the, uh, the top surface. These are new baby wipes. I'm not sure if I like them. So anyways, that's that's that. Um, oops, a little bit more paint there still. Uh, it, it's, it's kind of a fun thing to do because uh, it makes you think outside of the box. Um, you know, why not have a little fun with your stamps? So the, anyways, that's, that's the video for this week. I hope you enjoy that. And uh, I hope you give these uh, that a try. And uh, I'll see you next time. Bye.